From the previous tutorial, we've seen how to assign uh, charges for variable and fixed charge metals and nonmetals. We've also looked at how to name compounds, specifically those that are ionically bonded. This tutorial is going to look at how to name compounds when the bonds are covalent. So if up until now um, you're still a little confused about naming ionic bonds or assigning charges to elements on the periodic table, make sure to review the past two tutorials. Ions, as we know it, are charged particles. This means that the atoms on the periodic table now have a charge. If they are charged, then they are able to form bonds. We learned that there are positively charged ions, known as cations. They lose electrons. There are also negatively charged ions, known as anions. This means that they gain electrons. We learned from the previous tutorial with ionic bonds that ionic bonding are uh, formed by metals and nonmetals. Covalent, however, are formed by nonmetals with nonmetals. This means that it's not a cation with an anion anymore, like ionic. This time it's an anion with an anion or more than one anion. Covalent bonds use things known as prefixes. They are only found in covalent bonds. Here are the prefixes that are most commonly used. You have one, which is mono, two, di, three, tri, four, tetra, five, penta, six, hexa, seven, hepta, eight, octa, nine, nona, and 10, deca. These prefixes to the left of the table, these ones are prefixes that are only used in covalent. So when you see a chemical name, that uses any prefix, you know immediately that this is a covalent bonded compound. Covalent bonds, how do we go from the chemical name, so the chemical uh, given names, to the chemical symbols? How do we change it from a name into a formula? The first step is you identify the chemical symbol. You then identify the prefix, and then you insert the subscript, which becomes the prefix um, to the designated symbol. Let's take a look at the example. Dinitrogen trioxide. So in this case, we already see a di and we see a tri. So we immediately know that this chemical name um, is a covalently bonded compound. Dinitrogen nitrogen, so we know that nitrogen is one, oxide, so we know ox is oxygen, so we have N and we have O. Di-nitrogen means that there are two nitrogen atoms. Tri-oxygen means that there are three oxygen atoms, so we assign two to nitrogen and we assign three to oxygen, and that's it for um, converting from chemical name to chemical formula in covalent bonds. Super easy. Have a try at diphosphorus pentoxide and pause the video. All right, so diphosphorus penta pentoxide, you have phosphorus and you have oxygen. Di means two, pent means five, so you have two phosphorus atoms and five oxygen atoms bonded together.